Very well, welcome back to Let's Play. Golden Sun, last time we saved Bobby, the leader of Toby, from Altmuller Cave. And now we were requested to attend the Colossal Tournament in Toby itself. So that's what we're going to do today, and we might take a lot of time doing that, because we're going to go through all of it. Hey, you're Isaac. You're kidding. That's Isaac, the one Bobby picked? Yeah, that's not mistaking it. He's Isaac for sure. He's just a kid. What does Bobby think a Colossus is? A playing round? Putting him in the finals is an insult to everyone who clearly the trials. Don't you people have faith in Bobby? Bobby won't let him into the finals just to repay a favor. I guess Bobby wouldn't let Isaac in if he weren't a good match. We've been waiting for you and your friends, Isaac. Over the Colossal Participant, go to the waiting room, okay? Let's go. We are ready. This way, please. Huh? Isaac is the only one entering the finals? The warriors entering the finals must go in alone. But why, Isaac? That is what Bobby wanted. But I wanted to enter too. We're not accepting any more entries. Well, Master Isaac, please prepare yourself. I guess all you can do is get it over with Isaac. I know you want to enter too, Garrett, but there's nothing we can do. This is crazy. Isaac wants to survive against those Colossal Warriors. If Isaac wants to win, he'll have to use Psynergy. Well, Bobby does seem very interested in his Psynergy. Even so, how is he supposed to use it here? What did Bobby say what we're supposed to do while Isaac is competing? We made a slight exception. You can cheer him on from the stage. You'll be able to see from right up close. This is the first time it has ever been permitted. You should thank Bobby for the chance to sit in these special seats. If everything is settled, I should take you there. Uh, can Isaac go to see the final stages too? I bet you want to learn as much as you can about the finals, hey Isaac? Come on, you can make another exception, can't you? I don't see the harm in it. I can't believe Isaac is entering midway through Colossa. This is a first. Totally unheard of, like I said earlier. Are we ready? I'll give you our tour of the arena. Let's go. This is the site of the first final battles. So this is where warriors test their metal against each other. Well, no, it's actually more than that. What else is involved? The warriors are racing to get here first and get the best equipment. So there's an advantage to getting here first? That's quite a test. That's too hard for Isaac. We must support him as well as we can. Mm, don't you want to hear my explanation? Sure. All right, let, let me explain in detail. Warriors enter the finals without any of their own equipment. Please look over there. There's the starting point of the first stage of the finals. You must get through several stages before you reach the arena. The tests along the way contain items that may be useful in battle. This is the battle arena. After getting here, the warriors do battle. You can get weapons in the area too, but one is weaker than the other. So you'll have the advantage if you get here first. Also, you can use the equipment you get here in your next match. What do you think, Isaac? Do you understand the rules for the finals? You notice that each stage has its own attendant. Ask the attendants for explanations of the stages. Isaac, you're in contestants in the final. Do not forget that. I'll be right here, so come see me when you're done looking things over. Hey, where do we cheer from? Would you like to visit the stage in the area description for each one? Yes, we'll decide where to cheer Isaac after hearing the descriptions. Okay, so yeah, it is a kind of a platforming course in which we have to do synergy. But before we do anything about that, let's take a look at our DGN setup. Because I'm going to do some modification. First of all, we don't really need Quartz. Because Quartz revives and Isaac is going to be alone. So it's kind of pointless to have Quartz. I'm going to give Quartz to Garret, And Garret will give Scorch 
over to Isaac. However, we will standby uh, stand scores so that we can go from brute to gallant. We want our basic class. I am trying to play this game all in a ba in my basic mono elemental class. So all I gotta do is do this. Sure, I won't be a lord. What is it called? Uh, yeah, the lord. I won't be a lord with a lot of stats, but that'll be fine. There's a there's a very good reason why I'm doing this, and you'll see why. And now I want to take one win, and we give it over here. And I think that's gonna be it, right? Yeah, okay, this is gonna give a certain synergies to Ivan, which we going, we're going to need. So let's talk to our attendant number one. I'm just gonna skip ahead real quick. He's just going to tell us how it works. He just gives a, a description of basically the platforming challenge. It says, well, in this stage, you have to push that thing over to the other side. So to create a path. But as you may see, we can actually move the one at the bottom with our synergy. To make it a lot faster. Uh, yeah, I think I want to cheer from here. Yes, I will have guard. There are four stages and we only have three characters that can cheer. So we need to divide them accordingly. So this one, we're going to hear a description. This one is very easy. It is a pipe puzzle. But as you can see there where the arrow, well, the end indicated first. You can actually use DAOs to put water in there instead of you of know, pushing the pipe so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna have Mia here on this since she has those and Ivan should have yeah he's fine so we have stage three stage three has this and as you can see there's a sprout over to the left I gave Ivan a Venus Disney or Earth which gave him growth so he can actually use growth to help us there. Now the fourth one I'm going to show it to you anyway. But if you look at it, there's nothing really we can do here. No synergies to be used, but we can take a look at the stage. And to get that test, we're going to have to do some shenanigans with the, um, with the logs. But it will be fine. We'll lose some time to get that test, but we'll have a lot of time. Because we'll skip all the other three puzzles. Do your best. Okay, and we are ready to go. We won't be able to use our items. We will be able to use our Dizinis, but that's about it. Uh, in the arena, we'll actually be able to gather some nuts and some other stuff. You'll see. All right, let's actually talk to... Well, prepare yourselves, contestant. The finals will begin shortly. Let's talk to all the people here. Phil will be wanting forever, waiting forever for the finals to begin. You know, I had the same problem in my first class. So. Unfortunately, you cannot mind read these guys. I... I'm gonna hazard a guess, they probably have a mind read line, but you can't access it, because only Isaac is available here. He cannot get mind read no matter what. Are you ready for the finals? Then please wait in the 8th circle. When the gong sounds, the final will, swing, will begin. You have come to question me, are you? You are Isaac. I close my eyes to focus my mind before battle. My name is Satraid. I'm the 4th ranked warrior. I'm Navampa of the Gondamon. The 6th ranked warrior. You're the warrior Bobby selected? The one, that, the one they're talking about? I heard rumors that you were a huge hulking man. I guess they were wrong. I'm ready as the second best, but I'll prove them wrong. The name is Azard. Don't tell me you're the one Bab Bobby and picked to be in the finals. I'm not going to lose to someone who didn't even clear the trials. I'm Morgan. I'm the highest ranked warrior. I'm going to win to the finals. And don't you forget it. Don't forget, Morgan. Don't forget him. You can all leave? Okay, what about you? Men in black? I'm Buford, the seventh seed. No will clear the trials are powerful warriors. This is a balanced match anyone could win today. And not only they're powerful warriors, but they're palace swaps of each other. Wow, don't frighten me. I'm incredibly nervous. What, me? I'm Galahad, the first seeded fighter. Can't wait any longer. When do we start? Dekama will win the finals. Deca, Deca. He won't answer no matter how much you speak to him. He's trying to get himself psyched up for the battle. The finals can't be won that easily. Right. We are ready then. We are ready for the finals. Let's do this. Hey, any day now. We're tired of waiting. Let's get this thing started. I agree. Let the finals begin already. Oh uh, yeah. I'll show you. We're here to win the finals. Hey, what's the matter? Hurry up and start. 
by up starting the top ranked warrior and away the signal. Now then, chosen warriors, let the finals begin! Alright, lend a hand! Can we talk to the people here? No, we cannot, but we can talk to the assistant, assistant if we don't want to do anything, which is obviously not what you want to do. Now, be careful when you do whatever you're doing here. You're only allowed to do one thing. If you mess up, you're, it's your fault, and you don't get a second chance. If you use the wrong synergy or you're facing the wrong direction, your problem. So be sure <laughs> to be in the right spot. That should be about right. Douse. And we are ready to go. Here we are, the first match. We have three matches in total to pass. So here we're just gonna skip this puzzle, jump over here, push this, and treasure chest. I like how you can actually see your party members watching from... Uh, below there. Skip that. Climb up here. We got an oil drop. And then we are going to go over here. Now in order to get that chest, we'll have to do a little bit of this. We'll go around here. Here's the other log and get that treasure chest. And we'll have enough time to actually reach the end before the other warrior. Now, let me pause here. Let me show you what we have here. Um, that's what we have. We got... Cats Beats. I don't know why you... You don't even need cats. Short Zord, not Hanayo Drops. I will go to the Zinni and actually set scores. And But you'll see why. I'll use them immediately, so I will... Oh, that guy was so close, man. He has to go back, though. I got my Iron Shield. You can open the manual here, so that's why I opened it then. Uh, we're gonna have to wait for the second player, unfortunately. Can't do anything about that. Gonna have to wait. Uh, so yeah, but um, yeah, I'll set scores, but I'll use it immediately. So that I'll go back to my mono elemental class and get all the stats that I need. Let's fight. This guy is a sword. So what we gotta do is just scorch and gain a lot of stats, and maybe we will paralyze him. Yes, uh, he's done. There you go, <laughs> paralyzed. Uh, that means I can flint the no problem. Uh, I have a thing, right? Wait, where do I have it? Yeah, I have this thing, but... I'm just gonna flint. You can't do anything anyway. Oh, you already recovered out of that? Okay, fine. Uh, then my plan will be to use ground. Which basically is free. Because then you can't move and... We're basically skipping a turn. And I will granite. Block some damage. See what he does. Okay, 36 damage. And at this point, I'll pull out my level 3. And that deals 180. Not enough. But that's a lot of damage. An oil drop, 85. Okay, we're good. We can take another hit. I could sap, but that will bump me now to a squire. Not really the best idea. I'm gonna cure. I need to keep alive. By the way, you can lose these fights. You can actually lose these fights, and the game will still proceed. You're not required to beat them all, but we'll try our best. Ragnarok incoming! Bam! With that summon, that should be a lot of damage. Hell yeah. Oh, stop using nuts, dude. That's 200 HP per nut. It's nuts! Okay, come on. He doesn't have an infinite nuts, so... He like has two, so I think he's done healing. Let's keep doing this. Okay, I can take another hit. It's no big deal. Actually, I can sap. Take that. Recover some HP. Actually, I won. Never mind. I see you made it through your first match. Winning your first match after jumping right into the finals is awesome. Should have expected as much from a warrior selected by Bobby. Now we can go a look, have a look at the next series of stages. Now, here's the thing that I always wondered, if we didn't come here, they would have had seven warriors. And each of these um, uh, stages 
R2, R, R1v1, right? So it does, the, the numbers don't add up because they would have had seven people, you know? All right, let's take a look at this one. This one has five stages and the next one will have six. So let's take a quick look. This one is a little crappy maze. You can move a stump to make it a bit faster. And um, do we want to? Yes, I actually want to put guard here. Because you may think uh, this is very easy, right? You can just might as well just run through it. Uh, but actually, if I want all the treasures, uh, I don't want. I do not want to. I want to actually skip another one later. What's this one? Yeah, this one right here. If you look above the leftmost platform, there's actually a passage. You can barely see that. That leads to a treasure chest, and I want all the treasure chests. So I could halt the guy that moves the platforms, but if I do that, I won't be able to go up and get the treasure chest. So I will say, no, I don't want anyone here. You can put whoever has a halt there, but you won't be able to get a treasure chest. Oh, this one's another log rolling puzzle. There are a couple of puddles of water that you can use to create a pillar. And in fact, that's what we're going to do. We're going to send Mia on this one. No, 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 it's fine. Okay, let me look at my design. Okay, I want to reset sap and reset scores because that gives me growth. It'll be very useful because if you look at this stage right here, there is a sprout that cannot be accessed from the forums where our characters are, but it's possible for Isaac to access it, although we shouldn't need to, because that's only if we do a mistake there on one of the tree drops. We actually have to drop on the middle one to move on. But if we make a mistake, we can just grow a plant and go back up real quick. So, no, 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 I'm fine, actually. No need to cheer there, because that's kind of useless. Nobody can do anything there. And this one, it's another log maze. And there's a chest. And down there, there is a log that we can break with force. Uh, therefore, I will have Ivan cheer here because he has force. And I'm done. Um, the Zinis are okay with that. So I have growth. I can deset the deset. Put stamp. Put the uh, the last Zinni in standby right before the fight. So let's head back. We're gonna go straight into round two. Don't get to talk to the warriors yet. We get to do this first, of course. So here, all we gotta do is we're gonna have to move this stump one to the left. Create a little shortcut. Ivan will use force here. Should be fine. All right, good angle. Force is very finicky for some reason. Sometimes it's just won't work even if you're facing in the right direction. And I wanna freeze this. And the match is about to begin. Three, two, one, go. We just do this and we're off to the next one. We should make two jumps, okay? Then we do one, two, grab the chest, which has a, another nut. It's fine. As you can see, you don't really lose much time by doing this. So it's fine. Oop, jump down over here. Now here, I'm going to have to pull that if I want that treasure. I don't know what that is, but I want it. I will have to lose some time to do that, but it's fine. Diagonals here. There we go. Got that. Uh, it's a smoke bomb that can actually be useful. Okay, so we drop on the middle one there. Don't make any mistakes. There we go. Zero mistakes. Push this lock once to the left. Grab that treasure. And then, thanks to Ivan, we can just cross through here. Don't need to do any of that puzzle. Actually, what am I doing? I need to use this car this guy. Forget what I said before. I, I, I said I'm going to put in a standby. No, 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 no. I don't need to do that. This guy was very close. Okay, so we're going to start like we did before. Scorch round one. 
We gain a lot of stats after he attacks. Okay, we got our stats. I'm gonna start with a sap because he did some damage to me. Sap him? Got elf back, smoke bomb. Uh, that worked actually, so we're not looted. But you know what? This unit don't give a f damn about precision. I'm using a nut, sure you, you do that. I might be able to pull off a level four. Uh, I don't know, I don't wanna risk it too much. Uh, could be an idea though. It's like a ground. This is free. It's basically a free turn where nobody gets to do anything. I can granite, and that could be an idea. L look, I could granite here. Protect myself from damage. Pull up the level 4 summon, which we haven't seen yet. You know what? Let's do it. This guy's a bit tougher than the previous one, but not as tough as the next one. Okay, here we go, boys. Level 4, Earth Summon, Judgment, the Mind of the Apocalypse. This is nuts. Yep, and we are, uh, okay, 70 damage, that's not good, but these are why the nuts are here. Whoop, fully restored, use a nut as well, okay, it's fair, we're getting back our Dizinis. Uh, but you know what, Ragnarok, with that someone's going, uh, yep, that's a lot of damage. It's fine, we got another Dizini back, now we're slowly going to get our stats. Which means we're just gonna recover HP, stats. I can do another Ragnarok right there. No big deal. There we go. You managed to win both of your matches. You're incredible, Isaac. If you win the next one, you'll be the champion. Fantastic performance, just as Bobby expected. I won't underestimate you again. Let me take you to the next group of stages. This is the site of third final match. By now you know each stage they have blah blah blah. Okay, ask the attendance. Okay, let's start from the first one. Let's see what we have to do here. So in the first one, there is a very simple puzzle. You're supposed to push the stump on the thing, but instead of doing that, we're just going to make a pillar of ice to raise the second platform and skip the entire thing. So yes, I will put Mia here. All right, next up, what do we have? Uh, let me hear a description of this. Um, okay. So it's just a jumping puzzle. And here I'm actually gonna put Garret. Because he can make a little shortcut for me. It's not that great of a shortcut, but still. Stage 3. Here, uh, this is... I will suggest to you to definitely put whoever has force here. In my case, it's Ivan. Because those pistons are very annoying. And if you get hit by one, you have to restart from the very left, so... Uh, Black Friends here, here, yes, I will have Ivan's here from here, it's fine. Okay. Take a look at the others, too. So stage 4. And here there's a Sprout, as you can see. Uh, but it's not accessible from the forum, so if you have a Sprout, if you have a uh, Growth, you can actually use that to your advantage, which we do have, because we have a Fire Dizini. Brought that just for that. Instead of climbing all the way around like you're seeing here, we're just gonna go straight up. We do have our score set. Let's set it. Let's get growth. Stage 5, you can have someone here with force and you can knock the little stump inside the mechanism which will stop it from slowing you down. Literally not really that much of a problem. You can All you have to do in this one is just hold right. Doesn't really matter too much. And this one, I don't think you can even do anything with the car. No, the cars can't do anything here. This is pretty slow. All you have to do is push the stump. 
I mean the log from the right to the left, move the stumps. Well, to the left. I mean, to the left to the, from the left to the right. Move the stumps, clear the path, and maybe get the treasure chest too. Right. We saw all the stages. Then let's do it. This is our final bout for the championship. All right, we're good. Let's go. So Garrett will go over here and he will use move. Move this right here. Then Ivan will stop this guy with halt. Seems like a good position. And no matter when you stop it, it, it will always stop with where all the pistons are like the same um, height or whatever. Uh, thrust. We are ready to go. Right, so first puzzle, skip it. Completely. We don't care. We're gonna get probably another. No, it's the smoke bomb, sure. That can help. We should use those items because we lose them after this fight. They are colossal use only. So we might as well pop them. That's another nut, that's fine. So we're gonna go down here and skip this one as well. Growth. Yep, we go. Don't have to climb all around at all. And here we're just gonna hold right. Like that. Now here's what you have to do here. You push this, maybe, two up, and then you push the other one all the way up as well. You're gonna have to move. To get it unstuck from there, and then I can push it up. I'll go ahead and actually push this. Then I'll quickly grab the treasure chest and move along. And there's a leap bomb. I don't know if I want to use that though. We'll see. And that's all the treasure chests of Colosso, actually. We got all the treasures and we always arrive first at the end. So as you can see, 100% possible. You just gotta pull on your way a bit. And here comes the other warrior. Now Vampa appeared. Is this the guy from the Gondo one? I think he is. So first of all, of course, Scorch get all my stats. And a smoke one. And it worked. Okay. You know what? Eye for an eye. How about this? No effect. Great. I'll try that again, maybe later. Sap! Get back some of my health. Thanks. And hit. Okay. Let me try that again. I'm gonna try to sleep, actually. Is that gonna work? No effect. Oh, he was blocking. Cool. Let me try smoke bomb again. How about this, idiot? No effect. Wow. Very useful items we got there. What else do we have? That's it. Really, the all drop. It's crappy damage anyway. Um, you know what? I think I will ground granite and then pull out a level three. That's what I'm gonna do. Ground. Uh, but I don't have a lot of elf. Should probably heal. See what he does. Okay, not that's fine. Perfect. You can heal. It's fine. I'm gonna take those out. Granite. Of course, use a sleep bomb now. Okay. It's a f it's fine, honestly. No big deal. Pull out level three. And it's right, seventeen. Not bad. Ouch. Uh, we're fine here. I can take another hit. Let's go Ragnarok. How about this, huh? 127. Okay. We gain... Thing. Okay, we have to heal. Because if he crits, he kills us. So... Heal up. Yep. yep. What, what, did I, what, what, what did I just say? If he crits! I called it! No. Oh, heal me up again. Just waiting for my Redzini to recharge. There we go. Getting my stats back. I actually got all of my stats back now. 
Get for another Ragnarok here. Bam! 143. 64. I can take another hit. I'm gonna do a sap. Got elf back and deal damage. He was blocking. Okay, it's fine. Go for another Venus. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Big heal this time. Full HP. 319. Nice. 67, get back Sap. And Ragnarok incoming. Boom! I win! Or not. Isaac fell asleep. Must be exhausted. Let's leave him to sleep for now. Isaac! Huh? You're awakened. Colossal? Duh, that ended long ago. You fell into a deep sleep, don't you remember? No, I fell into a deep sleep? How could I remember? Of course he doesn't, he was out cold! He had us worried! I'm sorry for shouting at you. You fought brilliantly to the end, Isaac. Bobby was singing your praises. Are you okay now, in body and mind? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I think. It better be alright after sleeping this long, jeez. Sorry for shouting again. Bobby said he wanted to see when you came to Isaac. If you're okay, shall we go see Bobby? You're fine, aren't you, Isaac? I'm not worried about what Bobby wants. Let's get going. Are you sure you shouldn't be getting up so suddenly like that? He's fine, he doesn't want to lounge around all day. I see. Let's, let's go see Bobby then. Let's go indeed. We're in Bobby's palace. And we shall talk to the Lord himself. I'll be waiting for you and your companions, Isaac. I've been waiting here because I wanted to speak with you. It's hard to talk when you're so far away. Come over here. The battles of the Colossus were spectacular. It was most rewarding to see Bobby's favorite warrior steal the day. You then bring him the victor's prize. Yes, sir, right away. Incidentally, Isaac, are you feeling better now? Ah, the Kubati powers of Yelf. You've and after such fierce battles. Who could expect less from the warriors who rescued me? Enough with the flattery, let's get to the point. Why were we summoned? Such insolence. Who do you think you are to speak to Bobby so? Let it be, Yodem. There are other ways to judge a man. What is it to say you were called? He's talking to you, Garrett. Idiot. That's right, Garrett. We shall explain all. We intended to thank you for and your companions for saving Bobby, Isaac. But it would seem that gratitude is not enough. I have disclosed everything to Yodem. What do you mean by everything? You do wish to know more about Lemuria, correct? 
Yes, indeed. Your desires as plain as day. I've just seen Synergy for the first time. It is an awesome power. I used my Cloak Ball to show him Synergy. No one else could see it, but I knew Isaac tournament was strange. I thought it unlikely that you could fight with su using such power. No need to be ashamed, Isaac. Syner Synergy is also Warrior's power. When I first learned of your power, I was shocked. I thought you might be Lemurians. You have mentioned Lemuria many times, Bobby. What is it? It is the city of an ancient people lying far out at sea. Many years ago, about the time of the Great Flood, Bobby went to Lemuria. I see. The Great Flood struck while I was traveling with Lumpa. Lumpa? You mean Lumpa the Thief? I know it is hard to believe. It happened a hundred years ago. You mean those rumors about you are true? Kraden once mentioned the Stone of Sages. Do you think that's what did it? Very unlikely. He has never been to Soul Sanctum. Huh? Don't tell me you forgot about the Stone of Sages. No, I didn't. It's like the Stone of Sages is not here. I can think of anything else that would let him live for so long. He, he would have known about that. So you heard, even you have heard for the Stone of Sages. I'm afraid I don't have it. See? What did I tell you, Karit? I was right. This is the Drought of Lemuria that has allowed me to live for so long. The Drought of Lemuria? It is a magical draught once taken by those who lived in Lemuria. Just drinking stops you from aging? Is that what it does? Hmm. It would be more accurate to say it slows the aging process. There is death in Lemuria. But it only comes to those whose senses have failed from centuries of use. Do the people of Lemuria use synergy like we do? You have that drought, Bobby. That's why you've lived for so long. And become wealthy enough to rule Tolby. What are you getting at? What is your purpose in making everyone study alchemy? I'm starting to wonder myself. What do you hope to gain, Bobby? Ah, if I had attained true immortality, there would be no need for all this research. I'm not sure I understand. I had precious little draw it and now I'm running out. You all saw it. There was but little left in the cave. How long will it last? And what will happen when it runs out? It will run out any day now. And when it does, my life is at its end. Why didn't you tell me sooner? We must hurry to Lemuria. It is pointless. What on earth do you mean pointless? We cannot find Lemuria. But you just said that he lies far out at sea. If we search the seas, we're sure to find it. I've sent so many ships in the past in search of Lemuria. This must have been long before I joined you, but still you failed? I needed more Lemurian draws, but I couldn't find Lemuria. Why did you collapse in the cave if you still had more draws? I've been rationing it, but this time I waited too long between drinks. You were trying to make it last longer. I would accepted myself trying to find Lemuria before I ran out. And your reason for calling us here is to do with Lemuria? Exactly. I want you to find Lemuria. I have not been able to locate Lemuria by sea, but perhaps by air. I can add it no longer. I have built Bobby Lighthouse to see if I can find Lemuria at sea. What? That's why you were building the lighthouse? No, there's more to it than that. We spotted something in the ocean southeast of the lighthouse. Where Lemuria should be. Something dangerous, no doubt. What? Monsters? We can handle them. That may be. However, something else troubles me more. What is it, my lord? 
No sailor has been able to keep his bearings at sea. You're kidding. You mean they can't even keep a straight course? Is there something that distorts distance of direction or something? The current shift there, subtly changing a ship's direction. So the lighthouse will help the ship keep it, keep their keep their bearings. So how exactly did you get away from Lemuria after the flood, Bobby? That's the thing, Garth. I crossed the sea in a Lemurian ship. I'm hoping you can sail it. But why us when you have so many powerful soldiers at your disposal? None of them have the ability to use synergy. One must have synergy to sail that ship. Then what would mean that? Then that would mean that Bobby's an adept, wouldn't it? Well, not necessarily. He might have had other adepts. But Isaac, no normal person could master the cloak pole. I learned to use a little of synergy during my stay in Lemuria. See, that does not make him an adept. We will, what a little I'd learned, I was able to guide the ship. In that case, perhaps I could sail the ship. No, he must be an adept. What should we do, Isaac? Will he do what he wants? If you do, I will I grant you whatever we wish. You shouldn't make vows you can... We will later find you cannot keep. I haven't even considered my own wishes lately. In that case, I could provide you with a wealth of items you might like. Bobby offers is very generous. You will consider going, won't you? We will consider it, yeah. Isaac, we have to beat Felix and the others to the dog. I said I will consider it. Not that I will accept yet. Do you mean Venus Lighthouse? Well then, our paths are intertwined. I too must go to Venus Lighthouse. But we don't we cannot go to, to the top of Venus Lighthouse, can we? These adults may be able to solve the riddle that blocks us. Ah, oh, I see. The thought hasn't occurred to me. Isaac, you should go to Venus Lighthouse with Yodam. Do not worry. You can take care of your own business first. I see. If they can solve the riddle of the lighthouse, then our own wishes will be fulfilled. So we can search for Lemuria after they complete their own quest. Is that acceptable? Sure. Ah, you will undertake this quest. I'm most grateful. In any case, you will need my assistance to reach the lighthouse. I'll make preparations so that I'm ready to leave at any time. I'll take my leave now to make preparations. Then you can all meet at Gondo One Passage. That's a brilliant idea. One more thing, I'd like to think about a suitable reward. Yes, I will take care of that immediately as well. I shall be waiting for you at the passage. Your first task should be the Lilos of the Venus Lighthouse. I'm counting on you, Isaac. And next time on Golden Sun, we're going to take care of some, of some side business. See you all next time.